Okay, so. I think it's time we finally get up into this hotel business and see uh, who wanted to meet with us and why. Some post-game stuff. Um, but, before that, I want to say I went and added more Pokemon back to the party because I'm kind of done like leveling up random Pokemon. And I want to level up some more of the party pokes because there were a few Pokemon that didn't make it to the Pokemon League the first time around. And I'm sure we'll be going up against the Pokemon League again. So, that being said, I want to take the Pokemon who didn't get a chance to go to the Pokemon League the first time, bring them the second time. So I went ahead and added Keo and Woody to the party, as well as Wingo who, you know, has been there. But, we, we're going to get some, some power going on. <clears throat> We're here on Route 8. I don't know where the hotel is, but uh, I want to put Keo at the front. I haven't used Keo in a cool minute. Emphasis on cool. Also, sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background. There's nothing I can do about that, but it's okay. It shouldn't be that loud, right? All right. Let's see what's good. Do I talk to you? No vacancies. Uh, I had thought that if you knew the boy, you might be able to take the letter to him, but now I'm thinking I'll hold it for him until he comes to get it himself. Okay. Can I get in any of these? Is this the hotel that I'm supposed to go in? Oh, it is. So you actually came. Who? Hmm. You must be New Age, mustn't you? Please, for, uh, you'll have to forgive me for my stunning disguise earlier. Wait, what? He was the, uh... The stuffle that was in the room by itself? Was that him? I don't know about that. I'm very grateful that you accepted my invitation to join me here in my room. My name is... Oh, my name. It is Looker. I'm a member of the International Police. And this figure here is my boss. Oh dang, boss? Ooh, hello. It is an honor to meet you, of course. The first champion of Alola. Please forgive our rude summons. My name is Annabelle. I'm head of a secret division with the International Police. We are the UB Task Force. Oh! Dang. Looker is looking pretty serious. Please forgive me for the most sudden question, but I must ask, is it true you encountered UB Symbiont? Sim symbiont? S symbiont? Yes, UB01 symbi sim Symbiont. Symbiont? I suppose you knew it as Nihiligo? Yes. The International Police refers to all of the UBs by code names like Symbiont there. I believe you might recognize it as the Pokemon that the woman Lusami infused with. Oh, dang. Now that we cleared that up, please allow me to ask once more. Did you come in contact with Symbio? That is, with Nihiligo? I did. <laughs> oh! <laughs> dang. Just as we had thought. Hell yeah, it is. It seems... That seems to settle things, Chief. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, everything that we are about to share with you is highly classified information. <laughs> I really can't read right now. We must ask that you keep all that you learn here to yourself. The incident that Miss Lusamine caused, Symbiont wasn't the only UBO UB to appear from the Ultra Wormhole that was temporarily opened at that time. We've confirmed the presence of another Symbiont other than the one you encountered, and we have received reports of sightings of several other types of UBs. The UBs are dangerous beings whose powers exceed the boundaries and logic of our world, and they were dropped rudely into this world against their own will. We can only expect that they will be extremely wary and combative. And so, we have been tasked with three duties. The first is to investigate the ecology of these unidentified UBs. The second is to look out for UBs and protect the people from any harm. And the third is to either protect the UBs or destroy them. Oh! 
If the Yubis are destructive beings that will seek some sort of revenge upon our world, then the order from above is to erase them completely. But neither myself nor Looker would like to see that happen. Even if they are Yubis, they are living creatures. We would like to protect them and save them. But protecting the Yubis, it would seem to amount to catching them, and that's more difficult task than simply destroying them would be. We do not currently have the battle power necessary to achieve such a goal. And so we finally arrive at the point. Let us dispense with any pretense. We wish for you, the champion of Alola, to lend us your assistance. Oh! New Age, we want you to join our team. Please give your aid to the UB task force. Hell yeah! Let's do it! What happened to the music? <laughs> You accept? Thank you very much. So that means, Chief. I know, Mr. Looker. <laughs> it is only formality, but I still must test you to ensure that you can handle this job. New Age, may I ask you to join me in a battle? I will wait until you're ready, so do whatever preparations you need and then speak with me. Oh, snap! Let's battle Annabelle! So you're ready for me. Let's begin then, shall we? Let me see your talent in its entirety. No need to hold back. Oh, let's get it! I dropped my stylus. Uh, let's get that too. Hey, Ultra Ball five per command. Good thing I added some squad. Aru Kazam. Okay. Let's see what you got for Keo. Level sixty one. A little bit, uh, a little out of our league, but you know, we got this. Oh, that did a lot. Okay, Keo, let's, let's go ahead and bring you back for a bit. Let someone else take over. Just a little while. You're about to get swept by Dippy. <laughs> it's what happens. Deal with it. Catch this sun steel. Ha! <laughs> you wish you could hit Nippy with a focus blast. Get right. Hit him, Nippy. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Who's next? There you go, Keo. Levels. Miss Magius. Hmm. Hmm. Who shall we try? Let's try Woody. Can't hit us with those ghost moves. Sounds foolproof to me. What's up, Woody? It's been a while. Alright. We can handle us a Miss Magius, though. I bet. Hmm. Let's hit him with a big blast. See what you got. Oh, I was afraid it would have Thunderbolt. No, Woody! All right. Let's see how you take a Thunderbolt. Actually, I think Miss Magius has really good uh, spadurf. But well, it's not going to stop me from trying. Oh my gosh. Alright, Munchies. Hit him with a quick claw! Alright. Alright. Let me ask you this. Have you heard of Nippy? Cause I got one of them. With your name on it, we will never die from that shadow ball. Oh my gosh, you're creepy! All right, have you heard of Moana? Nippy got crit, that doesn't count. Nippy would never die to such things. Catch this Moonblast. 
You funny if you think we're dying to a thunderbolt. Get out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go, Moana. Get some levels. Who's next? A Surlamins? Does she have a Z crystal on her? Cause otherwise, your boy is dying. Moana, ain't got time to get hit by Thunder Fangs. Get out of here, Salamance. <laughs> yeah, you know Moana, you know. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of experience. <laughs> a Snorlax, oh hell no. I feel like Z move is in, in, imminent. Imminent. And I'm not trying to take one of them. Actually, you know what? Do I have. I don't have any revives. Damn it! It's okay. Got plenty of full restores. There you go, Moana. You're gonna yawn me? You're gonna yawn me? I don't... Mm, nah, I'm gonna stay in. Cause I don't know what's about to happen. I don't trust. I don't trust it. Not about to get pummeled to death. Ah! Why is this lady critting all my Pokemans? That's okay. We got Moana. Probably not the best answer to this thing, but you know. We got Hydro Pump too. Hey! Take that damage. That's okay, Moana. We're good. Hey! No paralysis up in here! Hydro pump him again! We need to get a crit. Don't yawn me, bro! Moana! Hydro pump him again! Let's get this fresh crit! Damn it. That's okay, Moana. I got your health right after this. Wonder if this thing has rest. I can't can't wait to find out though. Cause if Moana dies, I think we lose. <laughs> now I've never lost a battle before. So I'm not about to lose now. <laughs> Damn it, Snorlax! It's okay, Moana. We got this. Heavy slam! Okay, we're chilling. <sighs> nice. Hey, look at Keo getting levels. Hey, there you go, Moana. A Weavile? Ha! <laughs> you will be destroyed, but I'm still gonna heal just in case. Because I don't trust this lady. There you go, Moana. You good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was like, that had to be a crit. That did way too much. Alright, well, Weavile, you could catch this death too. Moana, let's end it. Hit him with a moon blast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, Moana. You're leveling up like crazy. Ha! <laughs> Damn straight. You just lost. <laughs> Thank you. I believe the testing is complete. I see no problem at all with your skills. Rather, 
I would have to praise you for them. I hope that we will do fine work together. Ha! So now you're a member of our team, young New Age. You are most welcome. Then there is no time to be wasting. Let's begin your first job. The chief and I will send out to gather more information about the UBs. We want to ask you to visit the secret labs in the bottom of Aether Paradise. Ooh. <coughs> An infiltration mission. Let's do it! There you should find our other partner in this endeavor, the Vice Chief of the Alolan Branch of the Aether Foundation, Miss Wiki. She will know why you've come. Now, s oh, now set forth, young New Age. I will set forth! Let us set and forth. Oh my gosh, my team got bopped. I'm just sad that everyone missed out on levels. Like Munchies and Wingo and uh, Woody. Maybe I'll put Nippy at the front for now. Hmm. Or Munchies. I like Munchies at the front. Need to get everyone up to 60 or some junk. Alright. Well, that being said, to the Eighth of Paradise! So are they all gonna be trying to kill me or something? Or is everything just chill now? I can go wherever I want. Oh, wait. I, I just pushed the button. My bad. Yeah, it's, it's not where I want to be. Lab area. Bottom floor. This music is still creepy though. Huh? What's up, Wiki? New Age, welcome back. I have to tell you how much I appreciate what you did for Miss Lily and Madame Lusamine. Miss Lily asked me a favor before she left. She wanted me to explain to you why she and her mother had to go to Kanto. She took her mom? I didn't see her mom leave. You see, while we don't know if it was because of Nihiligo's neurotoxins, her fusion, uh, her fusion with that beast or the strain of the Z-Power, the ill effects of this episode on Madame Lusamine's body and mind have been undeniable. She has hardly roused since. But Miss Lily found a ray of hope in a book that she remembered reading long ago. It was regarding a man named Bill who invented the Pokemon storage systems in your PCs. This inventor who lives in the Kanto region once combined himself with the Pokemon in an experiment that apparently went errory. Just like Lusamine. Yes, perhaps. There are even more examples in the world of people fusing with Pokemon. The records of this event, however, say that he was separated from the Pokemon by using his teleporter and a cell separation system. Perhaps using the same kind of procedure on Madame Lusumi will be able to remove the last of the beast's poisons from her system. That is what Miss Lily was hoping when she headed to Kanto. Oh snap! It pained me greatly when both Miss Lily and young Master Gladian left Aether Paradise. But I am so proud to see the fine young people that they've become. Even sheltered little Master Gladian tried to patch up his own clothing, he said, when his partner Noel tore them. Oh! I'm sorry. You probably aren't interested in hearing about that sort of thing, are you? Here, please accept this. Big Masaldas. Ha! I don't want him. Take another two. No. I don't want him. Now I'll be returning to Secret Lab B so that I can get back to work. Well, it's not a secret if you tell me about it. But sure. That's interesting. I was thinking this whole time that Sun and Moon could have been some kind of weird, like, prequel to Kanto. And that, like, Lily and all of them were someone that existed, like, back in Gen 1 that you could find. But now they mention Bill and the fusion already happening. I don't know if that's the case. Which is fine. Ah, yes, the matter of the Ubies. Disclosing info on this is prohibited, so let's please keep this between you and me. First, take these! Beast balls! Got them. The international police asked me to pass them to you. Those are beast balls, which the Aether Foundation developed in great secrecy. 
They're a special kind of Pokeball that are specializing... <laughs> they're specialized for capturing Ultra Beast. As, re as a result, they're very expensive to make, so we have not been able to mass produce them. Please consider your timing very carefully for when you use them during a battle. The appearance of the UBs is something that we at the Foundation are to blame for. That is why I'll do whatever it is within my power to assist you in this. For now, perhaps you should return to Miss Annabelle at the motel in a collar. What? How does she know all of this information? So we got Beast Balls, but I'm still... I'm pretty sure I want to try and catch them in regular Pokeballs, because that's what I do. Although, if we are catching them multiple times... Damn it, I clicked the same one again! If we are catching them multiple times, if we are catching them multiple times, then I'm sure I'll try using the beast balls at some point on like duplicates because I'm pretty sure that's the thing. Just so that way I can, uh, I can have an idea of how strong they are. Cause I do want to know where this isn't the right way. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Back to our secret hotel base. Ah! So, welcome back. It would seem that you managed to meet with Miss Wiki. I also expect Mr. Looker will return shortly. You in disaster! <laughs> is something the matter, Mr. Looker? You spoke in English. <laughs> if you spoke in English, I might understand. What has you so bothered? Clearly a disaster. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's terrible habit I picked up. Ha, I get it. But we do have a disaster in the making. Sightings are being reported of another UB01. It is symbiote. And the prep has been right here in Akala. Right under our very noses. Oh! <laughs> Just like, wait a second. The mission has begun. I understand. Then, Mr. Looker, Mr. Dewage, it looks like we have a job to do. My task will be to protect the populated areas. New Age, you will go where the sighting was reported. And Mr. Looker, you are to stay here and coordinate our backup if we should need it. I, I see. Hmm. Backup is a vital part of any operation, Mr. Looker. We are entrusting our safety to you. Yeah, Looker, get with it. Yes, ma'am. Let's do it. Then I'll be going ahead. New Age, stay safe. Danger is my middle name. Let's go. No, I don't need help. Will this music play the whole time? It got me hyped. Damn it, it's not. Which way do I go? I, mm, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh! I think it's in here. I guess if I would have asked Looker, he would have told me that. Instead of me having to search all over the place and take forever. And, oh, what? No, we just find it in the wild? Oh! There's not question marks, I already know. <clears throat> Oh, dang. Spadef. Munchies, you cannot do this. This thing, Spaderf, is crazy. But you can paralyze it. Go! Thunder Wave! Oh! Uh oh. Damn it, what do I do? I have to go into Nippy. But I can't, like... I can't hit it with the thing. It'll die! Alright, let's hit him with a Blitz. Oh! Oh. Well, thank you, Nippy. Oh, it burned it! Damn it! We haven't got much time. 
Alright, bag! What should we catch it in? Can we catch it in not? I'm pretty sure we can catch it in anything. Uh... What looks good? A dive ball looks very Nihela-esque. <clears throat> Alright, let's do it! Dive ball, go! Oh, he didn't like that. Did not like that. Damn, that does a lot. I don't have many chances left regardless, so I gotta go for it! Dive ball! Oh, we got it! Second try, boys! Yeah! Oh. Thank you, Niffy. We got him. That burn was hella clutch. Oh, it's just so beautiful. An unidentified Pokemon. Ooh. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> huh. No, I don't want to nickname the Hiligo. Nah, I'll send it to a box. Dang. Whew! Easy peasy.